until recently, it was relatively complicated to use a Sony camera as a webcam for video conferences or video calls. This summer, Sony has finally released its own software that makes this relatively easy. However, the software was only available for the PC. Only recently, a version for the Mac has been released. So in this video, I will show you how to use your Sony camera for programs like Zoom, Google Meet or Microsoft Teams and what you should pay attention to. I myself use a Mac, but on the PC it works exactly the same. But first of all, I have to tell you that the new software solution will not work with some older cameras, especially the Sony a6000 and the a5000 should be mentioned here. Some meanwhile somewhat older cameras like the a6300 or for example the a7 Mark II are supported. The current models are of course all supported, this also applies to the RX100 or the RX0. First download the Sony Imaging Edge webcam software, you can find the download link in the video description. Install the software and restart your Mac or PC. Before you connect your camera to your computer, you should adjust a few settings on your camera. Basically, you have to disable the control with smartphone feature and enable the PC remote feature. On my Sony a6300 for example, you activate the PC remote feature in the setup menu. Here you select USB connection and set it to PC remote. To enable longer video conferences, you should also activate the USB power supply. When you have done everything, you can connect the camera. For this we use a micro USB cable, ideally the cable that came with the camera. You can't use every cable for this, because there are also micro USB cables that are only made for charging devices and not for transferring data. But of course another data cable will do it too. And by the way, in case you are new here, my name is Werner and on this channel I do filmmaking tutorials and reviews of consumer cameras. Consider subscribing to the channel if you are interested in these topics. You can find links to all the gear I used for this video in the video description. You are now almost ready to join the next video conference with a nice and cinematic image. With some older cameras like my A6300, you should set the shooting modes to auto beforehand. As soon as the video has started, you can then switch to movie mode. If you have a newer camera, you can start directly in movie mode. The connection will not work correctly if the Magic Edge Remote app is active, so you should close this app in any case. You will not find the Sony Magic Edge Webcam app as a separate app. The software runs in the background and will only allow you to select your camera as source in the video conferencing software. This means that you have to select your Sony camera as source in the respective video conferencing software. In Zoom for example, you can do this in the settings under video and camera. If necessary, you can now adjust exposure settings on the camera. If you have problems with the autofocus, you can also activate the manual focus. The software only controls the image and not the sound. For the sound, you still need the microphone of your computer or an external microphone. Personally, I have tried the software successfully with Google Meet, Zoom and Teams. And that's it for today. If the video was interesting for you, give me a like as feedback and see you next time.